How's it? We just had three days of Kona wind here on the North Shore of Maui, which is southwest winds, which are the opposite of our normal easterly trade winds that we get most of the time. And it happened to coincide with a nice little northwest swell. So I got to windsurf lanes two days in a row, which is the left off of Hokipa, which is great for me. I'm front side goofy foot. And uh, so it was awesome to have two days in a row. If you want to wait till the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit about the gear I'm riding. I get a lot of questions now about, whoa, he's riding a quad. And you know, just talk about where the sport is at now and how I'm kind of adapting to the, the new trends in gear. And so I'll talk about the boards that I was riding and what sails and whatnot at the end of the video if you're interested. Otherwise, enjoy.
So this is the normal state of my car the vast majority of the time. I've got wing foil gear with a lot of different foils and whatnot, a whole bunch of wings. I've got a kite board and I've got my windsurf stuff in there so I can kind of adapt for what the day has on offer. But today we're talking about windsurf boards and what I've been riding the last few days. This is my normal daily Hokipa, Oahu kind of everything board. 88 liters, it's production. Uh, I've been riding production boards exclusively for at least the last 15 plus years. And so whatever happens to be what we're making at the time is what I ride. This is 88 liters. Uh, if you go back a couple of decades, my short board used to be 8.3, which is what, like 260-ish? And you know, this is 223 which is eight, uh, sorry, seven, five. So boards have gotten a lot shorter. Um, they're a lot more compact than they used to be. And for me, I kind of had to adapt my riding to that. I was a thruster guy forever, rode single fins for a long time. And I'm riding a quad now because that's what we've got in production, but I've actually learned to really enjoy the way they ride. Uh, tracky and loose at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. The compact outline, is a little different um, you know you can definitely turn tighter on axis but in really sketchy conditions like what we had during lanes those last couple of days the wind is coming offshore across the island so it's really gusty like holes down to nothing where you literally can't even hold the sail up and so there's a lot of falling getting up falling getting up quite a struggle and with this 88 liter board i'm right on the edge of, of being able to float and so I uh, actually went and grabbed a bigger board from the loft, which is for me huge. This is 96 liters. And uh, I'm a little heavier than I once was. I used to be pretty much my whole life around 170. And right now I'm 180, 181, 182 either. So I don't know if I'm just getting muscly or that's just age kind of. Wait for this airplane. So this is 96 liters. I went and grabbed this uh, from the loft and it's bigger than what I normally ride, but it's still really small. Uh, it's, it's still barely seven feet. And so the volume is actually just kind of chunky. Where in the old days, my normal board was 8.3 and my light wind board was like 8.6, 8.8. So you just kind of made the platform bigger. The board stayed thin. These are much thicker and chunkier than, again, a couple of decades ago. So the volume is thicker, but the board still rode and behaved really well, still turns really tight on axis. Um, and yeah, it worked for me, I think, better than I anticipated uh, on the way, but just having enough float that I don't sink in between gusts, um, was really nice and yeah quad again a lot of people are surprised to see me on a quad the behavior of the board is really similar to the thruster it's just a little bit how would you say tracky or more direct and it'll turn tighter without spinning out if that makes sense where the thruster it's tight until it's gone and it breaks loose these you can kind of ride in a sort of a almost sort of broken loose all the time. It's hard to describe. I think just having four smaller fins allows the thing to slide off axis without completely breaking loose and spinning out. So I like it. They're not as fast. You know, if you watch guys at Hokeepa in videos these days, not many guys are jumping. A lot of that is due to the more compact outline and smaller sails that you have to ride as a result of riding a, a smaller footprint board. In the old days, when you got another foot of water line, you get going a lot quicker. These days, it's more about wave riding and really performing well on the wave rather than planing everywhere. Another plane. So traditionally, I've always ridden a pretty narrow stance, surfing and, and windsurfing as well. In the old days, I had my foot straps really close together. I like my feet really far back, so I use the furthest back uh, push strap inserts that I can get. I want to be right on the tail. 
compared to most guys, they have a wider spread and they like their front foot further forward on the board. I've got to have my front foot back in order to kind of make my balance and drive off the rail the way I like it. I really like to push my bottom turns. And if I move my front foot forward, I end up plowing the nose all the time, especially with these shorter uh, squattier outlines. So I'm still pretty far back. Uh, I tend to ride my boom quite low. And as a result, my mass base is pretty far back. Just suits my style to try and have all of the pressure points kind of close together. So feet back, fins back, boom down and mass back. So for me, it just balances out the way I like to ride. And, um, and as a result of the shorter outlines, I tend to ride smaller sails now too. In the old days, I would ride a 5.2, 4.9, most of the time, 5.0, and somehow with the shorter, more compact boards, I'll tend to feel overpowered and pearl the board and go over the front and make mistakes a lot. So at Hokipa, where guys are on a lot of times like 4.2, 4.0, 4.5, I'll still be on a 5.0, 4.7. But these days I've, I've gone down to where I'm actually riding a 4.5 sometimes. I was riding a 4.5 on the first day at lanes. I was riding a, a 4.7 the second day. So riding less power than 20 years ago in the same conditions because it just suits the board better. And, uh, yeah, interesting stuff and good fun. And I'm still really enjoying you know, polishing my old tricks. I don't have the power, the explosive riding that I used to. A lot of it due to my right knee just being kind of weak. You know, I've, I've thrashed this leg a lot over the years. I kind of try to keep it strong weight training and whatnot, um, but I still just am a little hesitant to hit huge lips and whatnot. So I'm out there, you know, trying to ride hard, bottom turning a lot off the top, not a lot of aerials because I'm, I'm afraid of, you know, crashing a landing and being out of the water for six months with a, a knee injury. But otherwise, uh, really having fun being out there with the boys and trying to keep up, you know, as the, as the sport evolves and changes and the gear changes. Trying to adapt to it, still ride with my style, but um, having fun, enjoying it. So the one cool thing these days is being able to take a board, open it out of the box, put the fins on that come with it, put the foot straps on it that come with it, and go and be able to ride 100% and be comfortable. There's no longer any custom in my world, and it's unnecessary. These are bomb-proof. Uh, they work so well straight out of the box. It's amazing. I mean, they're CNC shaped. They're, you know, they're not like a, out of a giant plastic, you know, chunk mold like they were 40 years ago. Uh, so the sport's really advanced and the technology of manufacturing is really advanced. So again, right out of the box, dead ass production board is, is what I'm riding. I don't know how I did this the other day. I wiped out only once I got lipped from behind and I uh, could feel myself going down let go and I think the sail the mast just uh, dinged it so I gotta fix that these things are so strong it's absolutely insane strong stiff and light uh, so the riding has improved as well over the decades because the boards have gotten so much better you know not only have they been adapted in terms of outlines getting shorter and more compact and more fins and whatnot Technology has just allowed such incredible weight. Um, the volume is different now too, though. You know, if you look in the old days, a board of 88 liters for me would have been thinner, like way thinner rails, longer, you know, probably a foot longer than this. And so they rode different. You know, these again uh, takes some getting used to, but it's amazing with. What to me is a pretty chunky rail if I compare it to my rails from 1989, 1990 or whatever. They still surf so well. You can still really drive the rail in a bottom turn, which I wouldn't have imagined 30 years ago, being able to, to push that hard on a board this that day. So yeah, it's cool. Things have come a long way and gone nowhere at the same time. It's exactly the same. Same fun as it was back with a plastic board and wooden booms. Yeah, if you're not getting out there, get out there.